Cancer, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome, this is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you are interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading because we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, let us dive right in because what we're feeling here is that you, my beautiful soul, have been neglecting your own inner guidance. Now, you're not living your life by your truth, and what's going to happen is you're going to feel stuck in life if this is the case. Maybe there are some ideas that you have, but you don't feel worthy. Perhaps maybe there's somebody in your life that is um, influencing you in a way that isn't supportive for you. But either way, know this. The choice is always yours to make. You just have to make a decision from a higher self perspective. Otherwise, every decision you make will always feel confusing. It will always feel like you're going to second guess yourself. When we are in alignment with our higher self, then we are operating from a place of truth. We're creating from truth, right? But when we are disconnected from who we really are um, because we're distracted by the influences in our physical world we're living our lives from a state of fear we are you know um, you know needing approval and, and and all these things attached to outcomes and all these things um, the difficulty with that is is that is disconnection from our true self but we don't the problem with that is we don't take action then on what we know we have to take action on that we are know we're going to be happy with we find reasons and excuses as to why what we want to do isn't going to be best for us we find reasons and excuses to keep resisting remember this okay so energy does this right it's moving around woo energy but the thing is the minute that we think a negative thought Bam, that energy stops, right? Anytime an, uh, a, a situation happens in our lives where we have an emotional reaction to it, that, that catches and that stays unless we heal through it, unless we look at it, we re recognize everything happens for a reason. I accept, I forgive, I appreciate, I'm grateful. And then that energy clears away. But when we hold on to it and we're painful and we keep repeating it, this happened, this happened, this happened, right? Say for instance, you break up with an ex, they were very abusive. Every time you meet somebody, you think about your ex. So you're in this fear state. You br bring the old version of yourself because you keep reminding yourself of that time. So you're bringing a part of uh, uh, an energy of yourself forward into this new relationship relationship, same, same stuff happens, right? Same stuff happens. You're attracting the same, the same outcome, right? And it's only because the energy is the same. So that's why we want to heal through all that stuff. But either way, right now, understand this, right? Universe is guiding you forward to a time where things feel much more stable and grounded. But universe wants you to capitalize on what your spirit is calling for you to do. And we feel like right now your spirit is calling for you to be around people that are more like-minded. Be around people that are more positive. Spend your time around, um, again, supportive influences for yourself and people that are really resonate with you, souls that really resonate with you right now, right? Your soul family, right? Um, and and um, sometimes that means, you know, letting go of beings in our life that have been in our life for a quite a long time. Um, and we make excuses as to why we should be in their, you know, we should be in our life. But a relationship is a two-way street, and that that felt felt like an uh, that felt like a good one there for you right there, Cancer. A relationship is a two-way street, right? And if it is not, then it got, it's got no business in your life because you got to take care of you, right? You got to take care of you. And right now, the universe needs you to take the lead here. Take the lead of your own life. Be the CEO of your own life. What is it that you want to do for you, Cancer? And know that you don't have to force anything. You don't have to get your ego involved. All you have to say is, you know what? I desire to do this. I desire to do this. Universe, guide me. I'm ready. I'm open. I'm willing. Yes, that's it. That's all you have to say. It doesn't have to be like, oh, I'm going, I'm making it a whole big ego thing at all. You just have to literally energetically say, you know what? I'm done. I'm doing this. I'm doing this for me. Let's do this, right? And you let the universe guide you. And wherever you feel inspired to, to whatever you, wherever you feel inspired, whatever you feel called to do, whether it's uh, read a book or, you know, listen to a podcast or learn something or go for a walk, whatever you feel inspired to do understand that that is how the guidance system works. So it doesn't matter if you're inspired to go outside and look under a rock, go and do that because the universe is guiding you. But again, inspiration, not thoughts, but inspiration. Okay. Um, because right now the universe is going to guide you, uh, into again, a situation that feels much more resonant with your spirit, right? And you are a beautiful, beautiful, psychic, gentle being. And that means that you are going to be very, 
you're you're going to want to live your life doing things that resonate with you. Otherwise, this, there will be this constant back and forth of people pleasing and needing approval and not living your life for yourself and resisting all things and feeling terrible, manifesting disease because when we resist, we resist all things and disease is disease in the body and it's just it just it's just not a good way to live. So the universe wants you to look at this situation here from a beginner's state of mind. We want you to look at your, your life here and whatever it is that's happening for you right now with a new perspective, a perspective from a higher place, okay? And know that the higher place that you seek is always gonna come from the connection that you have with source. And that connection does come with practice of stillness, practice of intentionally going within for your answers and avoiding the outer world for answers, right? So um, that's, you know, you know, when you go through struggles in life, when you go through situations in life that don't feel particularly stable, they don't feel uh, rewarding, they feel very much conflict and drama, right? The first reaction we wanna do, because what happens is when we experience conflict and drama, we feel that emotion in our bodies and it's so uncomfortable, we wanna do something about it. So we usually yell or we scream or we overthink or we create anxiety. We do something that is more destructive than it is beneficial. We overeat, we consume, we gamble, shop, whatever it is, right? Because we feel uncomfortable. But here's the thing, right? In those moments, when you can transmute that, and because you, you can move energy, right? So. In those moments when you're feeling particularly heated and you wanna do something that is gonna be destructive for your life, that's where you're gonna to wanna to go sit or lay and you wanna breathe, you wanna breathe deeply, right? And you wanna breathe and clear that energy away with the intention of clearing that energy away and get yourself back to that grounded state. That way, when a decision comes about, you don't make a decision that's gonna harm you, beautiful soul, that's gonna cause more destruction. Because again, when we're in the energy of chaos, we attract chaos, so we wanna be more chaotic, right? So it, that's, that's generally how it goes. So when you're feeling low, naturally we wanna do things that also feel low. So for instance, you know, when you go through a breakup, what do you wanna do? Listen to all the breakup songs, listen to, watch all the breakup movies. You just wanna feel worse. You wanna eat a tub of ice cream. Now there's nothing wrong with, you know, like, you know, letting emotions out. However, there's a, there's a destructive way and then there's a supportive way, right? So at the end of the day, it's just about really being aware of what energy you are in. Right now the universe is asking you, time for you to take your life to the next level by honoring what your spirit wants and truly tuning into what you want. Now we feel like the, your guides and your angels have been speaking with you through your dreams um, and perhaps maybe through, it's usually through metaphor, okay? So you wanna kind of peripheral your dream. You don't wanna like look right at it. This happened. You kind of wanna, hmm, what's the overall energy of the dream? Was it good? You know, it's usually good when it's, in the, when it's a nightmare. Um, it's a wake up call. Same thing with our lives, right? When our lives turn into a, a nightmare, it's a wake up call. When things get so bad that we look around and we think, how the heck did I get here? That is that, hello, time to wake up and do things a little bit differently, right? Um, we do have, we're going to bring forward here, make a meal card coming forward. If you've been eating out a lot, if you've been eating a lot of processed foods, junky foods, it's emotional eating, okay? And when we eat those kinds of foods, it doesn't do anything. There's no nutrition for us. So it triggers a response. Uh, it doesn't trigger a satiety response in our body. So we can eat that stuff for days and not get full, feel sick and keep eating. We keep eating. Even though we're sick and full, we keep eating because there's no satiety response. So if you can, being an empath, we really are, everything holds an energy and we are what we eat. So when we can try to avoid foods from packages and when we can try to avoid foods without an expiry, date um, or an expiry date, you know, within a week, um, that's really, really helpful for us. So trying to make your own meals, trying to get yourself um, in a state where internally you feel clean, right? Because that's going to trigger a healthy response or a healthy habit of exercise, which is going to be uh, easier for you to be able to clear your energy. It's going to be easier for you to be able to manage your emotions, um, aka it's going to be easier for you to not react to life. Instead, you'll be able to respond to it from, again, that higher self perspective. And it's very helpful for us to not react. It's very helpful for us to sit when something happens and it's fearful, it's uncertain, it's unnerving, it's challenging, it's frustrating, to sit with that emotion for just a second and then breathe into our heart and respond from that place of higher awareness, from the higher truth, right? But if we are overstimulated, overcaffeinated, overthinking, overanxious, focusing on all the things going wrong, not taking responsibility for our actions, not doing what we want to do, then when those moments happen, we are going to be just blah and react, right? And then we're going to just stay in those low vibes and not end up attracting the life that we deserve. 
Now we're going to segue into your angel message of notice the signs. So your angels say to you, yes, the signs you've been receiving are heaven sent. We drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. They love you so much. They love you so much. They're always, always there for you. And you know, sometimes we need that reminder. So never hesitate to be like, you know, angels, I'm having a day. Is there any way you could just you could just throw me a bone. Could you just show me you're here? Could you just let me know, right? And and they'll show you. They will always show you. Makes me want to cry because they'll always show you. They'll always be there for you. There will always be some moment that happens where where you think, wow, I can't believe that just happened. To have that awareness because there are no coincidences here. It's intentional and always for you, beautiful soul. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share, and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.